Shalom Israel. Uh, I know y'all definitely hearing a lot from me today, but uh, I'm gonna just cut right to it. Um, it dawned on me today because I don't know if I told you know anybody, but I work with a lot of Issachar, so-called Mexicans, and it's funny how Mexicans are the twelfth tribe on the on the board, the 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 historic. 12 tribes chart, right? That people keep talking shit about. And honestly, Mexicans are supposed to be there. Um, and they're supposed to be 12, honestly. Like, And it's not because they are the lowest, but they really get treated so bad. They really get treated like they're the lowest. And it's spiritual. I don't know what made them actually be listed last. But people really, really, uh, the, the way people look at Mexicans, like they have to, like when I, when I tell you that their work has to be perfect for them to even get paid, you know, it, it's, it's insane. You know, uh, every, a, a lot of other people get away with doing half-ass work not Issachar Mexicans have to really you know they, they have to do what they have to do man they're, 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 their jobs and lives are not easy and it's not even just, just their work life also the way they're treated in Cali like a lot of times we, we, we're quick to hear from black people that are getting oppressed and picked on by Mexicans we don't hear what a lot of so-called black people have done to Mexicans over there in Cali. You know, all of all of it in our ignorance, but you know, I remember I was watching a a video of Vlad interviewing, I don't know if it was a shit, I forgot his name. Mob I don't know if it was Mob James or it was the, the other guy, the Crip version of Mob James, basically. And the guy was like, oh, if we're broke, we just go get a Mexican or something. And I have firsthand knowledge of how hard these Mexicans work for that money. To rob a Mexican is... You know, because you're, you're, you're usually not robbing the gangster Mexicans. You're robbing the civilian Mexicans that work their ass off for that money, man. You know, and that, that, that's fucking cold, in my opinion. That's fucking cold. That's evil as hell. I mean, it's evil to rob anybody. But when I tell you that this is the hardest working tribe that there is among the 12 tribes of Israel and what they go through you know in, 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 in a lot of different uh, situations you know Mexicans are always being humiliated especially when they're being called rapists and murderers and, and, and most of them are actually hard workers, but they are twelfth on the on the on the sign. And I don't know if this was intentional, but they really are treated as the bottom tribe. I think that they you can almost compete with Levi. For how poorly they get treated. But even Levi gets a little bit of change and, and then they start acting brand new and shit. So I don't even know what that. You know, it really is insane to me how, how these people these people get treated badly, man. And I don't know. Um But that's the that's the you know the inspiration behind this video is just just in general because I'm not just talking we treat them good my, my company I work with we treat our workers great 
you know, but I be hearing what they be having to go through sometimes, man. And like I said, to even get paid, their work has to be perfect. I've seen and heard from some of the, some of the ones that came over from other companies. This is like, yeah, wow. I mean, we, we, we do a damn near perfect job ourselves here, but, um, but we take care of them accordingly. You know what I'm saying? There are, there are people that have construction businesses that don't even pay their guys or, or they have to wait forever. Like the music business niggas have to pay for their royalties. Mexicans be having a, you know, sometimes like, like, yo, they get, they get scumbags in the construction business that just take their sweet fucking time to pay them. You know, and it, and it is, it, it is really insane. Akim, the stuff that I hear from Mexicans about how people treat them. You know, but with that, I'm going to say Shalom.